Hey guys, it's Miss Word Poison. I'm trying to get the glare off my glasses. I guess I have to look like this then. But it's Miss Word Poison, um, aka Nicey. And um, I'm coming to you because my hair looks a little different, doesn't it? And I haven't made a video in a while, like a long while. But I um, had to make a video today because I just feel so liberated. Sorry, I'm moving, but I wanted to get the glare off my glasses. But I just feel so liberated um, today because I have did something that I said I would probably never do. It's running right through me. a little better. Okay, so I did something that I said I would never do, which um, is the big chop. I now have some sort of mini fro going on here. It's like a medium fro, because my hair, I've actually been natural or transitioning to natural for a year now um next week it'll be a year so i have a new anniversary to start beginning today which is the day i did my big chop and i mean what prompted me to do the big chop was the fact that i was tired of um trying to get my permed ends to curl like my natural hair you see the beautiful curl that my natural hair has and it's kind of weird because I don't know my dad so I'm thinking like maybe he had um, some Caucasian or some Indian in his family or something like that because my hair is not natural my hair is not um as nappy or I, I don't I don't even say I don't want to offend anybody but it's like as coarse maybe as like regular people's hair is and so I, I have to be mixed with something and I know because my skin is, is light so I'm like I have to be mixed with something I just don't know what and I've never known my dad so you know I don't ever think that I'm gonna or his side of the family so I don't think that I'm ever gonna find out but I have to be mixed with something because my hair is not is, is not as coarse as, as, as I thought it would be uh, with with my uh, transition. And I've been waiting the whole year and I'm like, okay, maybe two years it'll get coarse. Like maybe it's just not, yeah, I have no idea. This is my first time doing this going natural, so I have no idea, but it's just not. And then if you can see here, like I put product in my hair and I'll tell you about those products later. Um, I put product in my hair and as you can see here like it just curls it, it's straight here like it's I have no perm in my hair whatsoever and it's straight here you see how straight it is it's crazy and I'm you know it's not pulled back or anything like that it's just straight and then it goes really really curly and soft so I don't know maybe one day I'll meet my dad and I can figure out you know whatever else I'm mixed with but for right now you know it's not you know it, 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 it still does the job it's got the curl pattern and I'm loving it and um, I no longer have to fight with my permed ends to get curly and curl them up every night uh, with rollers Ugh, it, it was just really annoying and um, I'm glad that I did the big cut. At first, I thought I was going to be sad and I was going to cry because, you know, I, I've, my hair has been long forever, um, for as long as I can remember. And um, then it started breaking off, and I was just like, well, what am I doing wrong? Like, what's going on? And then something just prompted me, you know what? I'm not even going to perm my hair anymore because I'm tired of this, you know? And I'm thinking that the, I thought that the perms were um the problem so i just decided you know what i'm not gonna perm my hair i'm not gonna perm my kids hair at all i'm just gonna you know go natural and it's like ever since then my hair has just been you know what i'm saying doing this amazing thing on its own so um but i've had this you know just long hair like my hair has always been maybe about you guys can see it's been about right here like right below my shoulder and um, I just 
I'm so used to having long hair that I just can't see myself without it. So I thought I was going to be crying and things of that nature. But when I was done with the chop, um, halfway through the chop, let me be honest, halfway through the chop, I was just like, oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> what if I want to straighten my hair? It's going to be all short and ugly and blah, blah, blah. And then, um... When I got done with the chop and I put the, you know, I started wetting it and I started, you know, doing this and I and I put the product in there. I just, I looked at myself and I'm like, I love it. I love it. I don't even care if nobody else loves it. I don't even, I don't care if somebody, you know, calls me a chia pet or whatever name they want to, you know what I'm saying, bring out the box. I, I, I could care less because I love this. I love this. I'm, I'm on right now on a change. I'm sorry. The shirt's too big, and I'll tell you about that later. Uh, <laughs> I'm on a change right now, um, transitioning a lot of things. And so all of this is just, it's for me. It's not for anybody else. I don't give a shit who doesn't like it. It's for me. So once again, let me show you my hair. I'm so freaking curly. I, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's so freaking curly. Like, I, I just, I love it. This is awesome to me. Okay, so let me tell you about the products that I use. So I use Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner. And let me tell you, this is the hair, if you watch my other videos, this is the product, I'm sorry, that I use for my curly hair wig. That's long, so if I want some little length, I could, you know, right now, I could just throw it on, baby. You know, I'm not missing anything. So, <laughs> I got my, uh, you know, I use this for my curly hair wig. And like I was telling you guys before, I put it in a spray bottle. These spray bottles, you can get them like a dollar at like Family Dollar or something like that. Or a dollar store or wherever you go to get your hair products. They're like a dollar. Um, I put it in here and I fill it up with water. And I put just like maybe a squeeze or two squeezes of the Moroccan argan oil in there and then I shake it up and so that you know helps me to um, I mean I, and then I spray it around in my hair makes it you know what I'm saying good to go so I use that and I also use if you can see this I'm not good with this sorry guys okay, can you see this can to Shea butter for natural hair, coconut curling cream. That also helps with the curls part of why it looks so great too as well. Um, so I use that and I also use Cantu's uh, cream shampoo. I wash my hair with that. Um, and I use a different conditioner like when I'm actually in the shower um, because I have dry scalp. So, But that's just a you know, it's like medicated. So, but, um, and then if you guys want to know about that, you know, just leave a comment below and I'll, I'll tell you about that conditioner. But so these are the products that I use for my natural hair. And I also use them on my children as well. And I'm, um, I'm actually feeling even more happy and liberated about this because I have, I have been transitioning my oldest daughter, who's 14 years old in high school right now. Um, to natural hair and she um, does not she she her concepts of what's beautiful and what's pretty is distorted uh, by everything she sees on TV and she reads in magazines and things of that nature because she believes that long hair is what's beautiful and I can't knock her for believing that because I used to believe that for a very long time. Like I believe that so much that I was, I felt like I was programmed to believe that. Like I could not, if I had, if I did not have long hair, I had to go buy weave and put long hair in my uh, hair because, you know, that's just what made, that's just what I thought made me beautiful. And I didn't realize um, until I got older, like until I started, until I had my second and my third uh, daughter. And they, when I, whenever I would do their hair and like pretty beads, braids and beads or um, barrettes and things, things of that nature, they would always ask me like, mommy, 
Am I pretty now? Am I pretty? Am I all pretty? And something inside of me just could not tell my daughter, like, yes, you are pretty now. When I when my first daughter, when my second daughter, I'm sorry, asked me that question, um, I was just like, no, honey, you are always pretty. You are pretty. It doesn't take for your hair to be done for you to be pretty. You are beautiful without it. Okay? And so every so after telling them that, that's when I started believing um that, you know, my you know, we were all programmed and you know, people's views of what's beautiful is like seriously distorted. So I'm so I'm really feeling liberated about this uh big chop. Because I want to be able to show my teen daughter, who is now transitioning, that it is okay to have short hair. It is okay to be natural. It, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, and whoever doesn't like it, you know what I'm saying, can kick rocks. I want to be able to show my daughter that, you know, you know, mommy can do it, you know, and so can you. You are beautiful without long permed hair and I'm not knocking anybody who has permed hair you know what I'm saying if that's what floats your boat hey make it do what it do boo you know what I'm saying but it's just that you know I don't want my child to believe that that's the only thing you know that makes her beautiful is permed hair because that's not the case so um with that being said let me tell you really 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 quickly about my weight loss okay so I have lost Drum roll, please. I did a weigh-in. I only do weigh-ins once a month. And I did a weigh-in um, August 21st was my first weigh-in after a month of working out and eating uh, 1,500 calories a day. I work out six days a week. And, um, when, when, and I'm off on Saturdays. And um, I do HIIT cardio, which is high-intensity interval training. And I do um, low impact, I do hit cardio, let me phrase it, uh, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I do low impact cardio on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do weight training and I do that for an hour, the hit cardio, for an hour a day. I do weight training an hour a day only on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um and I eat 1,500 calories a day. Now, let me tell you about the 1,500 calories a day. I eat, I'm trying to eat as clean as possible. So, you know. <laughs> but I um, I still like to eat, you know what I'm saying, like some, some things, you know, that taste good, but are, you know, maybe potentially bad for you. But it's only because um, I don't want to hinder myself from eating you know the things that I love because if I do that then I know I will backslide and I won't stick with this weight loss I want to do everything natural as you can see I've been trying to do everything um natural and you know get my body in shape and you know just be able to live you know a happy long life for my kids and my husband so it's not that you know I'm um I'm unhappy with myself or anything like that it's just I want to be healthy and happy so um, so yeah, I lost 12.8 pounds in one month, and that was on August two, uh, August 21st, and, um, I think I've lost a lot, a ton of a lot weight, or I'm sorry, a ton of a more, uh, I think I've lost more weight since then because um, my clothes you know are proving that to me now like everything that I have like I was just telling you I keep pulling this shirt because it keeps going every which way it's so annoying it every, all of my clothes are um, too big for me now and um, I, I don't want to buy new clothes until September 21st because that is my two month weigh in my second month weigh in and so I don't want to buy um, new clothes until then because 
I don't know. It's just a milestone for me. Like, I, I want to treat myself for my milestone. So I'm just like, okay. And it, it motivates me, actually, to get up every day. Like, I'm like, some days, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm just like, ugh, I got to work out two hours today. Like, what is really going on? But I, I motivate myself because I'm like, up oh, September 21st, I get to spend all my money <laughs> on clothes. Like, I get to, you know what I'm saying, just get a new wardrobe um, for myself. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I can't wait for that. And, um, yeah, so I've been using the Lose It app. And I'm going to see if I can show you guys what that looks like. Like, today I had, like, one piece of toast. Um, one scrambled egg and I also account for the jelly I put on the toast and the butter and stuff like that and then today is Tuesday so I'm going to do one hour and well I'm going to do two hours of uh, low impact cardio and um, so if you guys can see let me show you you see that Tuesday, September 3rd, I've logged in. It actually tells me, actually tells me like how many calories I'm under. Now let me tell you, I never eat back my workout calories. That's just me. I'm not sure how you can how you want to do your um, weight loss journey, but I never eat back my workout calories simply because I um, feel like it's better for me. Like I feel like I'm lose I lose more weight that way. And I mean it is what it is. Um, if, if you lose more weight eating back your workout calories, then that's fine. Do that. But for me, I can't, I can't eat them back. I eat back like a little bit, like maybe I'll eat back 300 of them. And, but yeah, I can't eat them all. Um, and then I'm full, like 1500 calories doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're eating stuff, you know, when you're calculating it down, you're putting, you're writing it down. It, it, it becomes a lot. And then I'm also uh, drinking so much water a day. Like, I try to strive for the eight glasses of water a day. And I'm drinking so much water that I really, I just don't feel full. Um, I got a, I can't show it to you because it's like all the way up there. And I'm on the computer. But I got a, um, I get the water delivered to my house. So I have like a dispenser up uh, in my living room. And I just like drink so much water I just go up there arbitrarily and I'll just like grab a glass of water you know just toss it back I I kind of do it unconsciously now <laughs> like every time I see it I'm just grabbing a glass of water it's like I don't know it's like a habit now so but I it's a good thing and it's helping me um lose weight I believe so um also um I don't know if you guys have heard of the of a thing called the big whoosh and that is when you um lose a ton of weight like maybe it looks like you lost it overnight or whatever but you know um I, I believe like as your skin gets soft you know as I'm sorry as the fat the subcutaneous fat gets soft um like a week later it 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 basically falls off or whatever that's when your uh fat cells are filled with water and it can't feel with anything else because you're not feeding it you know what I'm saying so then it just um they just like shrink down so I'm just um really waiting on that because I I have a lot of like really squishy soft fat and I'm just like what the hell yeah, like one day I woke up and I was like what the are you serious right now like I'm yeah, and I'm just like, okay, and I had looked it up, um, like, what could that be? And they were just like, okay, you're about to get a big whoosh, so big thumbs up to that, because I, I am seriously waiting on that um, to see people around me see the difference, and I can feel it in my clothes when I put on my clothes, but I don't, like, visually see a difference in my, in my weight, um, so... As long as other people can see it and my clothes fit, you know, differently, my clothes, I'm getting smaller in my clothes, I guess that's all that matters. Not going to worry about the other stuff, trying to do this naturally, like I said. And um, I'm hoping my goal is to be at like 160 by April of next year. So, 
but I'm hoping to be in Wonderland before um, the this year's out. So look for me. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to do, let me say, videos every month so you can see my hair progress. And I want to also um, start doing some styling so I can show you guys how to style um, natural hair if you want to transition and things of that nature. Um, and I think that's about it. I think that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, uh, you can find me if you want to read any of my urban fiction novels on uh, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com. Just type in Nicey and I will come up. Um, also, you can go to my website, www.NiceyZone.com, and you can purchase autograph copies there as well, and you can read more about me. And on my blog, I will be posting uh, more weight loss tips that, or things that I'm doing and that might work for you if you want to try them out as well, as well as my uh, hair care regimen. So thank you guys very much for watching and listening, and I hope this works for you. Oh, P.S. to all of my peeps who are following me about the Fettermine and the um, Lipotropics shots and the... Um, I forgot the other thing I was taking, but all those crappy peels or whatever. No, I am not using them. I will never use them again. They suck. Okay. <laughs> they had me. I was not jittery. I was not, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was not sleeping either though. And I was not, um, hungry and everything, but you know, so they do their job. But when you get off of those peels, you will have a hard time trying to live life. Okay, you you can't get back to your normal self, you know, and just think that, you know, because you crash hard, especially the first few days that you're off those pills. Um, you're hungry as hell. You um, you're 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 trying to transition to going back to sleep at your normal hour. Because I mean, I was up when I was taking those things. I was up forever at night and I couldn't get any sleep and then I had to get up the next morning and do you know all kinds of things so now if I would say you know just do it the natural way diet and exercise or I wouldn't say diet um lifestyle change you have to you have to make the conscientious decision to um change your eating habits to change you know the things that you're putting in your mouth watch what you're putting in your mouth I mean if I put like a piece of now and later in my mouth you know, a candy, um, I will document it on my Lose It app. And I will, you know, make myself accountable for those calories that, I, you know, those empty calories that I ate. So, I mean, it's really important that you, you know, focus on things the natural way. And I didn't realize that back then, but I do now. And I'm glad that I did, like, as much research as I did to find out, you know, about those pills that I were taking and the lipotropic shots. And it didn't, like, dawn on me until my husband said, like, why are you trying to take all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, to do, you know, to, to lose weight or whatever. Like, why are you putting all this stuff in your body you, you don't even know anything about? So, that's when I was just like, you know what? Let's find some natural ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are definitely right. So, that's my backbone. <laughs> so I just wanted to say uh, thanks, guys, for watching again. And I hope I inspire somebody. If you have any questions, leave them below. And I will comment on, uh, on them for you. And I will definitely do a before and after picture for you guys on September 21st. So don't, don't worry about that. I will definitely do it. And I, I'm going to show you... I don't know if you want to compare it to my previous videos. Okay. Can't really see because I am all up on the camera, but I just thought I'd give you guys a little preview. So, with that being said, this video has already ran too damn long already. Peace. Thanks for watching.